Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. Look who I'm with. It's Paul, who you've seen on many videos before. We've done, we're just walking up this little part of the, um, there's a horse up there on its own. Oh no, there is a rider on it. Yeah. Um, had a little walk along the ridge of the North Downs today. Obviously I did the North Downs way with Paul, which you've seen the remastered versions. And um, can enjoy the day and hopefully a pub lunch. Well, there's got to be a pub lunch because I haven't eaten since six o'clock yesterday. I oh, know. I need a good bub lunch. It's a lovely, beautiful day today. And uh, join us. Indeed. Enjoy. <laughs> if we're Darcy, you can probably hear the M25 in the background. We've done many videos around this area, haven't we, Paul? We have, yes. We have. And um, it's got us really warming up now. Well, it's July. Oh, sorry, August. So it's adding to Mark's guide to dogging sites in Surrey. Yeah, we so think the Marjorie Lane here is a here dogging add site. To, add to the list. Add how Paul, I know Paul lives in this road, but how does he know it's a dogging house? Did he come down at night and have a look? Yeah, so What's if going you want on? Buy some drugs. It's another thing that often happens around here. Yeah. Right there. Horses and drugs. It's just like with Mel and I. Yeah. <laughs> I went on holiday by mistake. Oh, some lovely horses. Look there. Hello. Just chilled. Oh, it doesn't ever come out. Let's go look at the English Memorial. M25 oh, yeah. the, the coach house is rather nice isn't it? Lovely little uh, expensive properties as you walk up to uh, Rygate Hill Collie Hill, so Rygate Hill Is it Collie Hill? Uh, oh, Rygate, Rygate Hill's further down further, isn't it? The other side of the A217 Right, so so Collie this Hill. is Collie Collie -E yeah, we had a bit of rain this morning, so that's why a little bit of steam coming off the ground, which is love, rather lovely. Pilgrim's Halt, oh, I love that. Pilgrim's Halt. There we are. I'm going to let Paul do the gate. I'm sure you've seen this on a video before. There's cattle grazing, we've got belted. What are they called? Belted, belted Galloway. Oh, Belted Galloway. And there's a lovely view down towards. Rygate and Dorking over there. Yeah. Airport. Then Lee Field is the tall ridge yep. in the distance. Nice point of sight. Because of the building, which I might, I don't know. Yeah, I mean, Lee Field Tower, yeah. go up there. If, you, if, the leaf, if the tower wasn't there, it wouldn't be the highest point. Did you know that? Oh, I just yeah. made it, yeah. Yeah, it's interesting. I'll be at Gatwick in a couple of weeks. And here we are, the Inglis Memorial, which we've done, walked past many times before, haven't we, Paul? Just uh, restored. Yeah, I've been restored, which is lovely. That's really, like, it's just such a beautiful structure. Excuse my ignorance, what's been restored? I think the whole ceiling had fallen. All right. Oh, right, okay. Oh. That's all been, I think, re mosaic. Re mosaic. That's the word. <laughs> Okay, we're heading back that way. We're not going to go down to um, the uh, cafe, um, down to um, uh, the viewpoint. We're going to go back along North Downs way for a little bit. Yeah. Yeah. So we're going back. And all quite level because of my ankle that's still playing up. Lancaster. It's the only Lancaster simulator. But it's quite hard. Come here. Some nice views out onto the. South Downs, in this viewpoint. Okay. The, this is the pheasant tree. Yeah, it's on the left, is the pheasant tree, which is a, I think it's a kind of junior kind of prep. Right. It's, it's prep school or something like that. We're taking this route. I've never been down this little bit before. I think I know where it leads out. 
actually. That go down, right down to the Sportsman? Yeah, it pretty much comes, but it's still this side of the M25, just joins up with the road that goes to the Sportsman. Right. Where Joanne lives. Oh, she moves. Animals or something. Oh, I see, that's yeah, pretty well. cool. I see the vehicles, tall vehicles going across the M25. Okay. So it's come a bit overcast. It's very, very, very muggy though. Very muggy. And we're coming back over the M25. We've done a little bit of a semi-circle. Um, there is. Walking on the Heath Golf Club. Walk golf course. Winston Churchill. Did, really? Yeah. And Winston Churchill Lloyd, used to be a member. Lloyd George. So Lloyd George. They've had these like the US Open qualifiers here as well. Wow. So yeah, it's quite a renowned golf course. There you go, the one of the Victorian coal tax posts. Um built in I think the 1870s. I I I took them on my Walton on the Heath video I did recently. Yeah, they yeah, lovely. A lot of them being well preserved as well. And look, there's another one. There's another one here. Still Cat 42 again. Yep, and there's another one in the distance. So we're going to pass it shortly. Okay, of course, and golfers playing from the right. got the constant hum of the M25 but hey it's fine. Yeah, nice bit of heather. Heather with you kind of filming okay. Shall I move out of the way? Sorry. I'll get you in it so this is a okay. I even posed there guys, I even posed. That's what a map, this is a paper map, guy, map look, looks like. A real paper map. Even with proper mud. Yeah, we, lo we like, we like um, hardware. Yeah. So we're heading through Walton Heath Golf Course. Yes. And then we're going to go through the back roads, through, oh. the, through the Ginnels. The what? Ginnels is a northern term for a, a path. Like oh, a, like the Twittons in the Like a, a, for a back passage. Oh, a back passage. <laughs> like ba we like a back passage. We like a back passage. A bit like the Twittons down in Sussex. Yeah. And so we're heading through the back to... The, uh, the church in Walton on the Hill. This is why Paul is so good. He never ever got us lost on the North Downs Way. Yeah. We, no, we took a, the odd bit. Yeah. It's so well signposted anyway. But yeah, we got, there he is. So, oh, cool. yeah. so this should just keep going until we get to the bit of a diversion across the. Uh, the B something. I or. think it's the driving range. I think that is. Okay. Oh, isn't Mogador such a great name? Mogador. Oh, he is yeah. I think it should be that one. Straight across, yeah, it should so. be. Going straight yeah. across the uh, fairway. So I think that is the driving range. Right. Yeah, because so. yes, there's the B road. Can you see traffic yeah. going through? There you go. I think it's the B road. The yeah. one that goes up to the um, Pfizer. The Dorking Road. The Dorking Road, that's it. The Dorking Road. Just going to walk through here. All I've ever done is driven this way, but we are actually going to cross it. Go! Yeah. Oh, there you go. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. Come out. We're just outside walking on the hill. Um, We've got a signpost here, some various houses here, and Walton on the Hill. Oh, Dean's Lane's that way, Checkers Lane's that way, Walton on the Hill is that way. So, we're going that way. Yeah, Follow Paul because he knows where he's going. Okay, where I'll be coming out at Tombstone. Oh, no, Touchstone. Okay, ah, so, uh, through this little yeah. twit in here. Well, sorry, Chevy, it's own terms. Touchstone. Touchstone, not tombstone. I do like going down little alleyways. Oh, 
stop for lunch soon, which would be nice. I've been eating since, I say, no, five o'clock yesterday. Five o'clock. That way, or that way. It doesn't actually show. Well, it's got to go both towards Walton on the hill, isn't it? You would have thought so, wouldn't you? Um, okay. To the right is the actual yeah, one must here. be on that one. Yeah, it looks yeah. like a, a diversion. Right. We'll go this way. It's lovely street. Still haven't got my bearings where I am in Walton on the Hill. Yeah, this road should go all the way to the church. Okay. Ah, yes, I think I know where we are. So there's a new reason. Now if you're here, into Walton on the Heath Church, which is, oh God, I've gone a blank, St Nicholas. God, Some, it is linked to God. Yes, it is. It's right in the dead centre of the village as well. Is it? What this? What the church? The dead centre of the village. That's oh. worth the cemetery. Oh. <laughs> St Peter's. It's St Peter's Church. Good, I was only here last year. St Peter's Church, which looks open. I think so it's supposed to be open for private, private prayer, prayer, even for non-religious folk like us. But uh, to see the medieval font. Yes, the medieval font. One of the oldest in the country. Yeah. That's correct. Yeah, That's there's quite a few spire. of them you scattered around in these, some of these churchyards. It's nice, isn't it? Looks good. Yeah, nice gate. And as you see here, guys, yeah, I dig. So I've been here so many times, I couldn't remember the dedication. Uh, St. Peter. St. Peter's Church. Very ancient parish. Well, there are um there's the um the oldest fonts in England, so it's got to be early Norman yeah. or late Anglo Saxon. I'm afraid there's no lights on the the light switches are. Paul's only local. I don't think he's ever been in here before. It's lovely. Piscinas. That's nice. Yeah. Um, I should really take Paul to this tomb, and the lady in there said actually. I've said this on other videos from Walton on the Hill, so you might have seen them previously if you're a long-term viewer. It's the tomb of someone, De Waltone, who founded pretty much Walton on the Hill and the church. But the lady's saying there's no real evidence that it is. It's a very ancient tomb though. So we're going back, I think, to the 1100s, 1200s. But I'll show Paul. And then you can make up your own mind. Just round here. Just come round the side back of the church. As you walk up. I see lovely graves here. It's actually, when you're around here on your own, it actually can be a bit eerie, I'll be honest. And it's right here. Johan de Waltone. I did do a translation of that on one of the earliest videos. AD 1268, that's 1268. Surely he'd be inside though, wouldn't he, if he was the founder of the church? I think the church has probably been rebuilt several times, yeah. probably since then. So this could have been—it could covered. have been in the middle of the yeah. church, maybe, or just exhumed and brought back in. Oh. Arts and crafts. And yeah, we're going down this little church. We're going to frighten this woman walking down. Yeah. And we're going to go down we're this little. Calling. I don't. Oh, sorry, it had its own name for for Twittons. Shussex. Of course, there you got. So this is Pinfold Manor, Walton on Hill, where Lloyd George, the Prime Minister in the second half of World War One, where he lived, 
And in 1913, the suffragettes bombed it. Suffragettes bombed it? They bombed it just before World War One, Because it was kind of associated with the government. And then it got rebuilt. So yeah, it looks yeah. quite a lot of modern... So this is actually, yes, yeah, so it's kind of built early part of the 20th century. Wow. Look at George. Ideal Memorial Hall. There's some plays in there with the gauge players back in the day. Still going strong now. Greece is the word, is the <laughs> word. Not that ride, Emma. It's alright. lunch in the blue boar wasn't it yeah fish blue ball yeah. oh blue ball sorry not blue boar blue boars in uh, that's all <laughs> that's all born uh blue ball so we're going back towards um, out Walton Heath and Lower Kingswood and Lower Kingswood back to his house to pick up my car my ankle the old ongoing ankle situation it's a bit sore but I'm doing all right I'm doing all right We've done well, well over 10,000 steps, yeah. that, but that's actually a myth. Um, so it's still good, of course, of course. And uh, yeah, I'm gonna go back over the golf course as I limp along. <laughs> Think left. I think we'll try left. Let's try left. Yeah, going left, which might be more picturesque, although it's just greenery really, which is fab anyway. Lovely. Isn't it nature? Nature. And out into the sportsman's pub, okay. which I was at recently. The, uh, dog wash. Yeah, dog wash. You can get a dog wash here, which Paul's just telling me about. Apparently, one of Henry VIII's hunting knowledge as well. well. We'll see about that. Could sit down for just two seconds, yeah, just uh, rest my poor soul. So, we were out in seven miles today? Possibly, yeah. That's what the tracking is saying. Don't believe it. Yeah, don't believe everything else it says. But my hill is really playing up. Although I've had no real hills or anything. It's water on the heath, crying out loud. But uh, it's all good, it's all good. As I said in my last video from Water on the Hill, another a rather bent Coltax post. Mogador Point. Going down this rather exclusive road, which I imagine where the wealthy people live in. On the way back to horse plates and my car. So my friend Joanne used to live here. So we're going back down this way to Marjorie Lane. Okay. Almost go. finished. Almost finished. And it's been absolutely fantastic. I wish the company was better but you know you got to go with what you got. So thank you, Paul. Lovely walk. I know it's familiar territory around Walton Heath. Um, starting off at um, Dogging Wood. I mean, Marjorie Wood, sorry. Is Dogging area. Allegedly. Uh, allegedly. Um, from Marjorie Wood. A good seven miler, probably. Yeah, I think so. Yeah. yeah. Hope good you enjoyed stroll. it. Yeah, good stroll. Lovely pub lunch. Uh, please like, subscribe, you know, all that normal stuff we do on that there YouTube. Thank you, Paul. Thank you, Mark. We will be doing another part of the North Downs Way soon the final the final saga. bit because we did the canterbury loop we missed out a little bit so that'll be interesting so yeah watch this space but i hope you're having a great day as well and we'll see you next time take care